Today's story is called Ways to Welcome, written by Linda Ashman, illustrated by Joey Chow. And I thought this would be a great selection as a lot of schools start back and we have to welcome new friends to the classroom. Ways to Welcome. Waves and shakes and warm hellos, eye to eye and nose to nose. Now, in my classroom, we usually would do a hug, a handshake, or a high five to say good morning. Which of those could we still do? None of them. We have to wave right now in times of COVID because we don't want to spread any germs. Soothing words, an expert guide. So it looks like somebody who's familiar with the school is helping somebody who doesn't know where to go. Step by step and side by side. Cheery classroom, friendly grin. Good to meet you, come on in. Now we can always give a friendly grin and a wave. And I know if I see people smile at me, it definitely makes me feel welcome. Helping hands, a rescued hat. What caused that hat to fall on the ground? Wind, because we could see right there. Cups of tea and a lively chat. A work of art, a small bouquet, an invitation. Hey, let's play. Making sure everybody feels included. A book filled room, a song, a rhyme. Have a seat, it's story time. Story time always feels welcoming. A sniff, a pat. That says, adopt new best friend. Who are the best friends they're talking about? The puppies. A gentle hug. A comfy bed that's safe and snug. I love that the puppy and the boy are just cuddling together. A homemade sign. Excited cheers. It says arrivals in their suitcases, so they must be coming back from a trip. And the signs say, welcome, welcome home, welcome. Grandpa and grandma. A special gift and happy tears. Yeah, if somebody's there to greet you when you get off the plane, that's always welcoming. Blooms to buzz. A splashy bath. Starter homes on a shady path. Those are the starter homes. Shelter from the rain and heat. Garden treasures, tart and sweet. An offering, a smiling face that lights an unfamiliar place. Neighborhood picnic. And look, they're bringing the fresh fruits and veggies to the new neighbors who've just moved in. I love going to welcome new neighbors. I'm always taking them something, saying hello, and trying to make friends. A welcome can be warm or cold. Maybe a shawl or something shy and quiet, big and bold. Now why does that little boy need to be quiet? Yeah, he doesn't want to scare that kitty away. Meant for someone new and small, or not so new and very tall. So we could welcome a little baby or an elderly person. It sends a message loud and clear. Look at all those people together, happy.
friendly, smiling face. Hello, friends. I'm glad you're here. And even though we're not in person, I'm glad you're here. So can you think of some of the ways that this book showed we could welcome others? Yeah, giving flowers or ice cream, a hug, just waving, smiling face. To me, the smiling face is the easiest one. You smile at somebody, it's always going to brighten their 